How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to install custom watch faces from the world's top watch brands on your Apple Watch for free. As you can see, I'm using this beautiful Patek Philippe watch face, but then I can use my Seiko, of course I can go to my Omega, my Cartier, and as you can see, it's all fully functional. So of course, the time, the date, the hand movement and take a look at the detail how it sweeps perfectly just like an automatic watch i can get of course a g-shock and even a richard meal with a functional tourbillon and on top of that i'm gonna show you how to maintain your watch face so you may rest your apple watch or get a notification or something and when you come back you're gonna have your custom watch face right here not the Apple stock ugly one. You're gonna keep it on the screen. This is amazing. So let's get started and let me show you my 2025 updated method. Let's begin. Okay guys, so let's start from the beginning step by step. So grab your iPhone, open up the app store because naturally we're gonna need an app for this. Go to search and then right here at the top, search for Clockology. This is a very well-known, very famous application for this. So Clockology, as you can see, of course, I'm gonna have a direct link in the description just to make things easier, but that's the app right here. You can tap on it and then let's go ahead and tap to download. It's completely free, just like everything that I'm about to show you in this video, 100% free. So let it load and install. As you can see, it's finished here on the iPhone, but we gotta make sure Clockology is also installed on my Apple Watch. And in order to do that, go ahead and open up the Watch app. So the app that manages your Apple Watch, as you can see, you can scroll all the way down, keep scrolling all the way down until you get here to installed on Apple Watch, and then keep scrolling a bit more and just make sure that Clockology is on this list. Maybe it'll be just like mine right here, still loading. This is automatic, so all you have to do is just wait. Wait a few seconds and wait until Clockology is actually installed on your Apple Watch as well. So let it do its thing, let's wait a few seconds. And then as you can see, it's gone here, so it means it's installed. Let's check it out. As you can see, Clockology is right here on installed on our Apple Watch, so we're good to go. We have the app installed on both our devices. Now, all you have to do is open up Clockology itself right here on the iPhone. Here, you can close it because I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know. And then right here on this very first page, we've got here community picks. And it all relies on the community. But my recommendation is, instead of going through the list on the app, let's go ahead and check the Telegram group, this application right here. If you're not really sure what Telegram is, pretty much just like WhatsApp. It's a messaging app that the community actually posts the best watch faces right there for free. So let's go ahead and tap here on Telegram. If you don't have the Telegram application on your iPhone, you'll actually be prompted to actually download it. And of course, you can go ahead and go straight to the App Store and then tap on search and then search for Telegram. As you can see right here, this is a huge well-known application as well. Okay, so you can go ahead here and go for Telegram Messenger, you can go ahead and get it. Of course, it's completely free as well. It's number two in social networking inside the entire app store. So you have an idea how big it is if you don't know. And then you can go ahead, install it, and then of course, set it up. It's super easy. You put your number, get an SMS code, and then you're good to go. And then let's go ahead and get back here to Telegram. And then as you saw, when you go ahead and tap here on this icon, on the Telegram icon, it will already open up the Cocology official group, as you can see, which has almost 150,000 subscribers. And then right here is where you're actually gonna get your watch faces. So you don't even need to join the group. You don't need to do that. All you have to do is tap here on Cocology official at the top and then tap on search. And then right here, you're actually gonna search for your watch face, for your watch, for the watch you love. Like for example, you can go for Cartier, and then uh, let's see, Cartier Tank. I really like that, so Cartier Tank. 
As you can see, I've got here 21 results of Cartier tank watch faces. So you can just have a look using this arrow here. So arrow pointing up, you're gonna go to the next Cartier uh, tank. For example, you don't like that, no problem. Uh, arrow pointing up and then pointing up. And then all you have to do is just keep taking a look until you find something that you like. Let's say that you like this one, all right? So you like this one. So you're gonna actually scroll down and tap here on the file that's directly below the watch face. It's always like that. So Cartier tank, tap on it. And then this is the file itself. With the file, you share. You share to Clockology right here. It's probably gonna be the first one. And as you can see, it's already in your library. If you get this information here uh, in order to allow Clockology to access your health data, I do recommend that it turn on all, just so Clockology gets all the information necessary to be updated on your wrist. This makes a big difference, okay? So tap on allow, and then right here, we already have it in Clockology. You can go ahead and tap on sync, and then it's gonna sync right away, or you can swipe down and go to workspace, as you can see at the bottom, and right here you have all your watch faces. If it's the first one you have added, you'll have just one. This one we have just added, right? But if you have a ton like me, like you saw in the intro, those are all of my favorite ones. So everything is gonna be right here. So let's say I wanna actually install this one on my Apple Watch right now. All I have to do is I'm gonna put my iPhone right here. I'm gonna get my Apple Watch, and then I'm gonna go to Clockology on the Apple Watch. Okay, so let's go ahead here, scroll down, take a look at Clockology. Let me find it, there we go, that's the app. So tap on it. You may see some settings and information, but you don't need that because I'm gonna explain you so you can tap on got it. This is the standard one, but as you tap on the watch face that you have just added and tap on sync and then continue, while your Apple Watch is with the Clockology app opened, as you can see, so it's gotta be opened, right? And in just a few seconds, you can tap on it, and then there we go, we've got the new watch face right here. So then, as easy as that, we have done it. And of course, you can do it for any of your other watch faces. You go to the Telegram app, you export right here to Clockology, and then it'll be right here. So let's say I want now the Omega one, same story, tap on it, tap on sync, and then as you can see, open Clockology, it is already opened, and then you can tap on it, and then there we go. So it's instant just like that in real time. Sometimes it takes like five seconds, but nothing more than that. And then you're good to go. But then last but not least, we have one final setting that's super important. I'm gonna show you right now how you can actually maintain the Clockology watch face, as you can see right here, always on your Apple Watch without it going back to the stock Apple watch faces. So how can you keep it like that, like mine, always on, always updated. So what you have to do is actually go ahead here, exit Clockology, come back to the watch app, the one we just saw a few minutes ago, and then right here, scroll all the way up because we gotta go to our settings. So go to general and then scroll just a bit down, keep scrolling a bit down until you get here to return to clock, tap on this option, and then by default, it'll be two minutes. So then anything that you have on your Apple Watch after two minutes, it actually default back to the standard stock Apple Watch face, but we don't want that, right? We want our custom watch face always on. So scroll down until you find Clockology, which is right here. Then you're gonna tap on custom as I'm doing, and then after one hour, and that's the best we can get. So we guarantee that when we are on Clockology, it will remain right here in Clockology for one hour. It won't go back to the stock Apple watch face. It'll stay there. But then if for some reason it comes back after that time, if you have a long time of inactivity, all you have to do is really double press on the digital crown, wait two seconds and it comes back and you have another hour. Another possibility you have is just uh, from time to time, you can go ahead, tap and hold and then tap on it once again you get another extra hour. Of course, this is not ideal. Of course, we would love to have it always on 24 hours throughout the day, but unfortunately, that's how the watchOS really works. But of course, there's always activity. Uh, if there's a notification and it comes back, then it renews another hour. If you tap and hold and tap on it, it renews another hour. And of course, if in the event of coming back, 
press two times on the digital crown, wait three seconds, it'll come back to the previous application, which will probably be Clockology, so then it'll come back, of course. So that's literally it. That's how you set and you install any custom watch face from the world's top brands on your Apple Watch for free, updated video. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one as usual, guys. See you later, bye-bye.